The first night vision I saw, Generation 1, Gen 1, was pretty awful. It was very difficult to really identify anything very much, but very quickly that developed. The first real, what I call real night vision that I got involved with was the Archer from Starlight, which is an add-on. You have a collar that fits over the scope, a bayonet fitting goes on, tightened up, and you click your Archer on. Good out to, we'll say, 300 yards for clear spotting. As with all night vision, it's very dependent on good infrared. I always stick personally to the Nightmaster NM800, which still I think is probably the best. The thing about the Archer, and some people do have difficulty with it, is that you are adding it to a day scope, which has its own optical setup. When I first got this one, I thought it was an absolute disaster. I couldn't see anything at all with it and was jeered at by my farmer friend at the time because he could see the fox and I couldn't. It has on it a lens shutter, which will affect what you can see. It also has its own focusing ring. You've also got the focusing ring on your scope. You've got the magnification. There's an awful lot there. And, and the only advice I can give to those who are new to it is have a play with it before you take it out and shoot. If you don't, you won't be able to just put it on your rifle, switch it on and go out and shoot with it. Once you've mastered its settings and got it set up correctly, it's a brilliant piece of kit. You can buy a standard day scope, put it on your rifle, zero it and shoot. Night vision takes a little more. Moving on from the Archer, from the same source, Starlight, is the a very, very excellent longbow, and I, and I do bang the drum for this one because it's probably my favourite. It's a true day-night setup. This is it in its day form, and you just use it like a conventional scope, zero it totally normally. When you want to use it at night, you just remove the day lens and clip on what also looks very similar to an archer. I know of, of certain people who can shoot accurately and far better than I can out of three, four hundred yards at, the, at night. But it does have its downside insofar as safety recognition. I'm just going to move on to digital now. Items like ATN's Night Arrow, which has been lent to me by Scott Country very kindly, which is an excellent piece of equipment, has gone back to a form of image intensifier tube. There was a complete swing away from it when digital first came in. With the old original, like the longbow, you had to avoid bright lights because they would affect the tube and could damage the tube. The latest models using image intensifier tubes have got protection for the tubes. I'm not saying that you want to go and shine a spotlight down the lens, but they will withstand far more. If there's any moon at all, you hardly need any infrared. In fact, you can overcook the infrared. If you have too much on, you'll white it out. I think it is available with a green screen, but it has a white screen, which really shows up clearly any quarry out there. You'll spot sheep-sized animals out to probably 500 yards or more. Moving on, another little chap is the Photon. I like them. This was one of the original ones. You will see a fox with this out to 150 yards easily. But for rabbits on a rimfire or 17 HMR, very, very good piece of equipment. The other thing that's been happening of late is the add-on, the small add-on. This is the Atom from the same people who make the Nightmaster torches. This is the first series, if you like which is essentially a rabbit air rifle stroke rimfire. Ideal out to 100 yards, but I would say that would be its limit. There is another version going to come onto the market which will extend the range considerably, which will um, be of interest to fox shooters, but I wouldn't suggest this for fox shooting at this stage. Myself, chaps like Robert Bucknell, we all have found over the years that our average, average fox shooting range works out about 100 yards. I had a couple last week that were out to 200, but that's, that's my limit. I could probably do better, but I haven't got the confidence and I don't want to go wounding 
if you're going to get night vision, if you use it properly, you don't need to shoot out to 300 yards. If you can see a fox that can't, well, it probably can see you, but isn't aware of you, you ought to be able to adjust your technique so that you get it into 100 yards, 150 yards. You ought to be able to. I know terrain comes into it, and there are areas which are different. When I kicked off shooting originally foxes, for their skins, we shot them all with shotguns, and we shot a lot of foxes, and they were all within 30 yards. So you can get close to them, and if you've got night vision, it should make it that much easier.